Welcome to this uh, uh, series of presentations and webinars that we're running with our ecosystem partners. And uh, today we have two of our partners, which has a quite interesting type of proposition. We have uh, 2IC Care and uh, Holly Jameson that will present their end product. And then we have Pro KMX and Christian Kiepel that will talk about their Argon product. Next slide, Anna. So our ecosystem, um, we have more than 90 partners in our ecosystem and the integrations that's been done by different partners. Um, the purpose is really to have a ready to use device or products that's integrated and that actually take usage of the full integration, making it simpler for you as a customer to start using the product as it is and easy to get going. The price is already there and it's easy to deploy them on the market. Um, there are multiple different kind of integrations. We have integrations for alarm monitoring, digital supervision and remote sensors, GPS and mobile positioning, uh, medication robots, proactive calling, smart sensors, telecare hubs, vital signs monitoring, etc. etc. So it builds up and adding onto the platform, and we are adding new integrations every month into the platform. Um, and so I will hand over, and what we will do is during the presentation, um, to uh, Holly will talk about the Andy product, and then Christian will talk about their Argon product, and we will take questions at the end. So please write them down in the chat, and then we will open up for questions to both to IC Care and Procane next at the end for this. And with that, I'm handing over to Holly. Thank you, Martin. Uh, right, let me just share my screen. <clears throat> right, can you see that okay? Perfect. Um, so hi, and um, thank you for the introduction, Martin. So uh, product manager, Holly Jamieson, um, and I've been at 2IC Care now for nearly two years um, and developing the Andy solution. So really excited to show you guys and, and tell you about what we're doing. Um, so do, to do like quite a high level overview for those of you that don't know our product. Um, so Andy is, um, we like to call it like a one solution, a one size fits all, because um, we do the Andy dispersed alarm unit. So it is a dispersed alarm unit that connects to the ARC using SCAPE. Um, we also connect via three connectivity methods, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and SIM, uh, which I will touch on a little bit more um, in the presentation. And one of the real great benefits is we connect to any peripheral type from multiple manufacturers. So we don't actually manufacture our own devices. We just manufacture the hub. And um, that's actually manufactured in Wales, in the UK, um, in uh, Sony UK Technology Centre. Um, but yeah, so we, we have to collaborate with the best of the best. So without collaboration, we, we wouldn't um, have a product because we have to collaborate with other device partners. So that's something that's really exciting and really different about us. Um, and we also have our software platform as well. So this is a real centralized view of all care, health and well-being data. So from the devices that are paired and added um, to the Andy package for the service user, everything is centralized in one place. And again, we'll talk about a bit more about centralization later on in the presentation. Um, but again, one of our other things as well, so customizable, actionable insights. I know we talk about actionable insights in this uh, industry quite a lot, um, but I think the customization part is really key. So we have a um, dedicated rules engine that people can really customize things. So bringing different data types from lots of different sources um, into the rules engine and being able to, to, to sort of manipulate that into what you need it to be for a certain um, person. Now also, um, yeah, so I mean, preventative care is, is our absolute special source, but I really wanted to highlight at the start that we do both that reactive piece, which is what's been around in our industry for a really long time, and we'll always probably have a place, um, but trying to move into that preventative side as well by using um, and soaking up more data. So why is Andy different? So um, as I said, so interoperability is really important to us. So we believe that we are truly interoperable because that comes from being able to connect to multiple different devices from multiple sources, um, but also using multiple connectivity types. So we have, um, we can do RF869, 
We can do Wi-Fi devices. That's not something that people are tending to use a lot at the moment, but we're starting to look at them to try and see what we can bring on board. Um, Zigbee, which is being used a bit now, and also Bluetooth. So by being able to open up that um, choice, it makes it really flexible for um, the customer who's procuring our solution, but also for the service user as well. And I think as technology uh, becomes slightly more modern in our, especially in our space, that's going to really benefit um, a lot of a lot of our customers. So the personalization piece is really, really key for us. Um, so we talk about personalization a lot as well, but you really need um, to have that true interoperability to be able to, to personalize care packages um, or technology packages. So one of the things about us is, is as, as I said, our rules engine. So, um, and obviously we can, we can do a demo if people really want to deep dive into that, but being able to um, you know, take devices from different sources and be able to pick out their data types and to really build a picture. So for example, if someone's had a fall and also there's a cooking incident, to be able to pair those within a rule is really valuable for the, um, the operator or whoever's receiving that um, alarm call. Um, the robustness as well. So I obviously touched on the fact that we connect by Ethernet, Wi-Fi and SIM. We find that to be really important, um, especially, you know, we talked a little bit about rural areas this morning before the webinar. It's really, really key when people are in um, a place of fluctuating um, SIM signal, uh, a SIM, you know, a SIM alone probably wouldn't be um, strong enough to keep that person connected. So to have that sort of method of switching between and finding the strongest one to, to remain connected is, is really important to us. Um, and you can see on the screen, actually, it says that we use defense grade technology. Now, I'm not going to go into that in deep dive today because we don't have enough time, but our technology is proven in the defense space. And there's a lot of things that that are common within our industry, which which match that. So, for example, being in rural areas is one of those. Um, we really pride ourselves on, on never losing a message in, in our technology, um, but also the ability to, to connect to multiple different things. So that's where our technology comes from. It's proven. Um, but if you want to find out more about that, obviously you can contact us and, and we can, I can bore you to death with it all day long. Um, and then the last thing as well is that to really mention, obviously we talk about preventative care and Andy can do so much, but for the users or the people that are really early on in their stage of their digital journey, Andy can be used just for that digital dispersed alarm unit as that initial sort of analog to digital switch. Um, we do have packages that can really help to tailor to what you guys need so don't worry so much about oh my gosh we're not ready for all this new technology you can really do it quite simply to start with but our message is getting that foundation and getting the Andy hub as the foundation and then you can build on that as you go and over multiple you know multiple years as well so this is just a visual example really of all the stuff I've just been talking about so um what we call true connected care so the ability to have so on the left hand side, you see three different devices from three manufacturers with three different connectivity types. And that is really, you know, something that we find really key. Um, and it's, it's really important for service users as well. The end user that receives the product, it's quite common that you could have a digital dispersed alarm unit that's doing the reactive piece. And you may have another system that's layered on top of that to do the proactive piece for the lifestyle monitoring. And then you may have something else that does health monitoring as well. What we're saying is, you know, get that foundation in and you can build upon that and do lots of different things with, with one solution. So centralization is really key for that. The service user, it's a better experience if they've got one solution to deal with. Um, and then obviously it's about the, the connectivity methods and then the fact that you can connect to the ARC, you can connect to your family and friends. It's just that true connected care, really. Um, and then lastly, so our integration with Sky Response, I'm really excited about this one. I think it's really great collaborating with the best of the best. We've had a really simple and quick integration. Now, all of this isn't coming from just me as well. So we have our technical partners um, who support us with integrations um, and software development. And they've really um, enjoyed the integration here. It's been really simple and quick, which makes life easier for our mutual customers. Um, and also, you know, they've really been impressed by the software as well and said that it's got great support for encryption. So that's been a, a big tick. But the main thing for me as the product manager is that we have this continuous collaboration to enhance our mutual customer success. So my background is working in the ARCs and the alarm receiving centers and managing the team, you know, the teams. So I understand how how important it is to have real good centralization and really easy to use systems. So you don't want to be 
using sky response for something else and then using something else for something else you want it all to become really sort of linear so i think that um you know i've got some really good meetings coming up with the sky response uh, customer success team um to try and enhance that customer experience um and sort of reduce duplication and all of that stuff so yeah i'm really really excited um, and then the next thing would be if you want to scan the qr code QR code on the screen. You can find out a bit more about Andy, a bit more about our integration with Sky Response, and and how you can you know take on that smooth process and get get using both of us. Thank you. Oh, you're on mute, Martin. Sorry for that. <laughs> so thank you very much, Holly. Uh, for the presentation. Uh, if you have questions, write them in the chat and then we will open up for questions at the end. And with that, I'm handing over to Christian. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Martin. Uh, everybody understands me, I hope. So I will uh, start also my presentation. Uh, so I think this is here. Everybody can see it, hopefully. Well, uh, we have um developed um uh voice assistant voice assistant is you know voice assistants are very well known from with google and with amazon or with uh, even apple we have developed one which is completely offline well we are working with an online system like sky response but we need an offline system for our voice control uh, I, I will show you the the unit it's something like that and this voice control system works with home automation and i'd like to show you now a solution that we don't don't only use home automation to to talk with it and to get, inform, get information from that but also with a floor a floor that is uh communicating with us and then we know exactly what's happening in the building so it's a home care solution that i will present you here let's see that's it's doing something yeah, it's a smart living for elderly people. So I'd like to just remember that uh, remember you that the human behavior changes a lot with the age. Uh, the home must be proactive, uh, supporting the person because persons, elderly people don't act like younger people. They don't ask for something. They just have problems sometimes, and then they they don't know what's happening. Uh, that's also a problem of adrenaline and so on when something's happening. So the system has to work without personal intervention and the vital functions must be performed. Additionally, of course, safety and comfort must be possible without its intervention. Um, then last but not least, it's also social interaction, which is necessary for elderly people to get, yes, not at the lonely in, in, in their uh facility so that's the thing that that we that we need to and that's me that, that, that we're meeting when you're when you're installing such a system with elderly people and now we i will present you the three systems that are working here together one is the sense floor the sense floor it's monitoring it's a thin mat which is just laid under the carpet or wooden floors or tiles it has a capacitive detection of the surface chart changes. That means it's not the, the weight which counts. It's really the, 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 the surface. Uh, with the surface change, when, you, when you're moving on the, on the floor, that means when you're walking, then you see, then the, then the floor will detect where you're walking and, and where you, you're, you're staying. So you don't need any wearings, no cameras. It's completely discreet. It's a surveillance of the person, which is, yeah, nobody sees who is aware, but if it's an elderly people, if it's lone living people, then you know, of course, that this is a, that's, this, this person. So privacy is completely guaranteed and it detects the presence, the movement, location, and also the fall. The fall is also very, very important, of course, because when you're falling, then you, yes, your, your surface on the floor is bigger and then you know exactly that it's happening that there was a fall that happens uh, a very big advantage is that we can define in this area where the floor is uh, uh, installed uh, where the door is of the of the, the room or the, of the location of the 
apartment where the bed is and other locations when you go into the bathroom and so on, you know exactly where it is. So that's very important because then we can get information whether the the inhabitant is, is going to the bed and it's um, uh, lifting his feet from the floor. And so we know, oh, he's now going to the bed or when it comes out of the bed, then, it's knowing, then we know also, ah, now I, I have to prepare the, the, the apartment accordingly. So that's the floor. And now we come to our Aragon, which is his uh, voice assistant. Aragon is a proactive voice assistant, works completely offline, and it goes only offline online when it's needed. So we have this cooperation, of course, with Sky Response, which is an online system. And this is very important because when, when calling for help, then we need, of course, the online uh, possibility. Uh, Aragon is working for home automation. I already said that. So we can control lights, curtains, scenes, and so on. <clears throat> you have seen our company name is ProKNX. So mainly we're working with, with the KNX system. KNX is a home automation uh, standard, which includes more than 400 uh, manufacturers with over 7,000 products. And all these products are compatible. So it's very easy to install Aragon in such an home automation environment. Yes, Aragon can also query status, not only control them, so you can ask for the status of the lights, of the shutters, and so on. Privacy is guaranteed. That's a big difference to, to the other voice control systems that are on the market. Uh, everything that's said is really handled completely offline, completely handled only on the unit itself. That's very important for a lot of people, and I think it should be important for even more people that privacy is a very important thing that we have to care about. We are working now with a new system, also with the LIM. Perhaps some people will know that it's a large language model, so it is possible now that we can transcribe every sentence, everything that you are talking about in or main languages like English, German, and French. And uh, the advantage is that you don't have to train every word for a local system. Normally, this would be necessary to train words, but now with this large language model, it's no longer necessary. So one our, our main slogan is, what's said at home stays at home. That's the big advantage of our system. Then. Uh, we have Sky Response, of course, and that's a perfect tra trio. Aragon is a voice assistant between ground, so the floor, and sky. It's removal the, the doubt in emergency calls. So if there is a, if an emergency call which is necessary, then our uh, voice assistant will ask, do you really need help? And if there is no answer, or if there is the answer yes, then only we will call for help. We can give some inf event information. We can ask whether, for example, the appliances should be turned off when you're going to bed. As I mentioned before, when you lift your feet from the floor, it can inform about possible safety issues. For example, when you're leaving the kitchen, then you can, and you check the, the stove, whether it's still turned on, and you can ask the person, do you remember to, to turn it off, please? So the interaction is, is very important, and it's an interaction which is automatically the, 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 the user don't have has to ask for something. It will be informed automatically. Yes, and uh, for example, if you're leaving late uh, your home, then you may also notify relations. And of course, oops. Uh, yeah, then medication intake can be monitored and also in the form and the monitoring the bed time, the bath time, how long you are. That's that's all possible here with this trio now. Um, I thank you for this, uh, that you watched this presentation. Now I'm, I'm even able to show you how this is working because that's also a very important point. 
otherwise you will not believe that it's working so nice. <laughs> so I will switch over now to uh, another video camera where we, where we can see, perhaps you can see it now. I have to, perhaps I have to uh, stop the cottage. Yes. You can see it, hopefully. Here you can see the, the floor. Uh, at the right side, you see perhaps a bit of the bed. The left side, you see the door. And at the back side, you see the our air again. I can move over here. So this is this is the air again. Here, that's the door. And here's the bed. And now if I'm moving from outside into the room, I go to the door. Welcome. It, it welcomes me and it's uh, uh, turning on the light here. And if I go to the bed, yeah, I'm in the bed. Would you like to turn off the lights? It asked me whether I should turn off the light. And if I say uh, no, or if it doesn't understand you, then it doesn't change the light. Otherwise, it will turn off the lights. Okay, turning off the lights. So that's the question answer system that we have. When you go inside from the bed, then automatically the, the room light will turn on. And now, of course, the major function is to to simulate, I can simulate a fall here, so I have a dummy, and normally there should be a question about uh, fall detection. It's, as I said, it's not the weight, it's the surface, which is important to understand. And now it's not detecting me, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I will, I will. Put the person here correctly. Important message. It seems like you're falling. Shall I call for help? If I say yes. Okay, I'll call for help. And then Sky Response will be informed uh, through the cloud of Sky Response. The person in charge will be informed that uh, something is happening. Uh, perhaps one major point also we not, not only inform or communicate with Sky Response for the fall detection, but also for the technical uh, problems of the system. So if there is a technical problem, uh, Sky Response will inform the, the technician because there's a continuous heartbeat exchange between our system and Sky Response, which is very important. So then you can know, you can be sure that the system will work when it's really necessary. Yes, that's that's about that. Of course, I can show you also now how you can control the system. Here you can, for example, see the shutter, and I can say, okay, Aragon, open the blind. And then you see the blinds opening. And according, you can also, of course, also control media systems, music, uh, every kind of lighting, and uh, temperature. So that's about our system that we can install. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Christian. Um, I think this is two interesting examples of the new type of solutions that's coming to the market. Um, I have one question for you, um, Holly. Can families use Andy for preventive monitoring or is it only for telecare providers local authorities use? So, um, yes, yeah, so absolutely, it can be used by families, and it, it, it definitely is already. Um, it's the whole idea of the connected care is that you can send certain messages to family and friends, whether it's by text or email, um, and also then by a, a local authority, or you can do both, and then that, that escalation plan is agreed in advance and, and presented probably on the Sky Response platform. Um, but if you do mean from a B2C perspective, so buying it direct from us, we don't have a B2C model. However, I would say that depending on where you are in the world, uh, there may be someone that is that could sell it B2C. So I would say get in touch and we can, we can have a chat. But from an actual um, functionality perspective, yes, it can be used by um, family and friends. Good. So if, if there are organizations that want to deliver this to this mixed friends and family delivery, 
And of course, the integration will also support in some of that. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, if you have more questions right there, I have one for Christian. The map that you showed, is that uh, something you can install? Do you install it before you put the floor or is it retrofitted on top of the floor? Um, you can you can do a very rather easy installation, of course, also as a retrofit, but it's recommended that you can, if you do some renovation work, that you install it at that time because it has to be yes. It's a it's a floor which has to be con, uh, uh, conceived exactly for the size of the apartment, of course. And um, the the floor is something that is um, uh, that will communicate with our processor then. And then uh, according to the information that we get from the floor, which is done by by radio, by the way, uh, we we can. Uh, distinguish what what kind of movement is is done so it's rather easy to install the floor and put a park carpet on it that's that's done in, in a very short time if you want to do it in the bathroom directly then of course you have to do it before you put the tiles on in the bathroom but it's possible also there wood is also possible that we put wood on it and, and that is it so is it made to measure or is it a standard size on the mat? So if do you adjust it to the room size or or is it standard size? Uh, there are standard uh, tiles if you want from the floor, uh, which you can put one aside of another. But if you want to do it exactly to the room size, then you get some. Then you have then we have to have the exact room size, and then then it will be done according to this room size. Good. But it's a one-time investment, if you see, uh, a one-time investment which which will last at least forever because there's nothing that is no 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 parts that are moving or so that are that can uh, be degraded. So uh, it's really something. If I if I compare it with uh, if you're going to the uh, uh, a rental house, then you have to pay perhaps three thousand four thousand uh, euro per month. And here uh, you can call you can think about four thousand euro for one for one room of twenty five uh, square meters. So it's it's rather interesting to compare it from price wise. My question for you, Holly, um, if you're setting up the scenarios or or this example where you're coupling events, is that something the customer do themselves, or is it something? Um, to IC care will do for the customer. Can you just repeat that bit about the events? What did you say, sorry? Oh, if you want to have a coupling of events, as you talked about this uh, two things, uh, measurement and other things, if you want to get that into your platform and see that they are combined. Um, oh, so different devices and, yes. and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, so as I said, so we don't, um, we don't manufacture or supply the devices. However, we do have, um, multiple different partners um, that we work with obviously to try and, and collaborate with to get those devices so we do often have packages that we can reroute people to and we don't want you know obviously people are used to procuring something from one avenue so we do we do look at that and make sure that we're working with our device partners to offer that easy procurement stream so again just get in touch with us we also have an ecosystem which is all of our devices that we've um connected with so far and that's always growing it's a live list so you can just get in touch and we can share that with you and what is the delivery time if i place an order to you i mean right now it's it's days so um yeah and because we're manufactured um in the uk obviously that that procurement channel is also the supply chain is really um, really strong so i would suggest no concerns about that um but obviously that's always changing so the more demand <laughs> but we're always manufacturing plenty and for you, Christian, um, because there are many people who are involved in, in the total solution, who who are actually, if you buy from you, who is responsible for the delivery and also what is the delivery time on your end? Yes, that's a good question. I think that's a question that I get mostly from our customers. Uh, well, we, we, are, we are offering a solution with um, products from several, from several uh, companies. So... There's Sky Response involved, and there are Prokenics involved, and this company, which is called Future Shape, who's doing the floor. Uh, at least we are a consortium that, or partnership, 
that uh, will be handled by one company. At least you will get the the offer and the and the, uh, the 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 offer and the installation from from our side. So uh, you can be sure that this will be handled together because we are all interested that the system will work and we are all interested about this kind of technology that this will work. Uh, so we are involved together, but there's one company that will take care then about this uh, system when, when it is installed. So we will do also the training, of course, the training for the for the person who will uh, put the floor inside and the person who will program perhaps also the KNX side. Uh, we we are taking care of that, and um, and we have one very big company now also a side of us which is the company Theban. They have about 500 people uh, engaged and they are doing these, uh, also this KNX system, which is uh, very, very uh, yeah, complete. So you can do a lot of installation also, not only cabled, but also by radio. And this is very nice for retrofitting the system. And for the availability, it's I, I would say uh, we can deliver with the floor in the correct size in one month, something like that. And we had a, one more question coming in here regarding the sense floor. Um, are, is the sense floor able to configure to ensure it does not pick up pets laying on the floor? It's depending the size of the pet. <laughs> uh, if it's a very big dog like a Bernardina, then of course, if it's laying down, it's very similar than the person that lay down. And this may also cause uh, the, the, the question, do you need help? So at this, in this case, you can say, no, I don't need help. Or you can even deactivate also the system. But of course, if you have a pet which is big like that, then it might be a problem. Otherwise, I think a cat or something like that, you don't have problems. Very good. Okay, um, with that, I'm not sure if there is any more questions. Otherwise, we will share the presentation and the, or this video, and uh, you can share that further on within the organization. Um, also, the contact information will be shared. So please reach out to both uh, 2IC Care and ProKNX if you're interested in more of the products, get a quote or anything. And for you that are already using the platform, this is integrated, it's ready to use, so uh, it's certified, so you don't need to um, spend a lot of waiting time to get that up and running. It's, it's there. Um, so focus on the products and if it's fit for the purpose that you would like to have. But uh, this webinar will be shared with all of you that signed up, and then you can share it further within the organizations if you want. And with that, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Christian, for presentation today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, and goodbye. Yes, bye. bye. bye.